Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink, the Trained Unprofessional, and welcome back to Major Minor! If you've been watching the last few episodes, uh, uploaded day by day, you'll know that I've been kind of tired the last few days, and, um, that's kind of continued into this session too. Very tired, not feeling like doing a whole hell of a lot, but you know, maybe I should button this. Yeah, definitely don't need to be showing off my flabby chest. Uh, definitely feeling a little bit of that, uh, sluggishness. Uh, you know, that classic summer depression? I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with the fucking game and not to focus on my weak ass. Uh, I guess a lot has happened over the last couple hours. Life in this business moves pretty darn fast. I hope I can keep up with all of this. My next step was Singe's office. He wanted to have a conversation with me and Kila, but I wonder what it was about. I hoped that he'd let us stay on tour with Daz. I'd rather all of my work not be for nothing, and I'd get to spend lots of time with everybody, especially if we weren't able to leave the building. <laughs> I doubt it would be as bad as Akron thought. Only Max and Singe could set off the weapons, and at the moment they were on the same side. They were both in this to protect all of us. I feel at ease. But it was very short-lived. Oh, fuck. The tone of my phone echoes through the empty hall. I hesitantly check my text messages. I'm completely unaware of what awaits me. But after reading what I was about to, I knew that things would never be normal again. And we'll find out what it is on the next. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. One of your friends will die today. Take that shit to Akron immediately! Holy God! What the fuck kind of text is that? Verizon. You see the, the provider up in the corner of the phone? Verizon 4G? That's, uh... That made me feel a lot better about this whole situation. <laughs> it will be your fault. You are not the only one blessed with the powers from the Ark. Things will be more fun from now on. Good luck. What? I'd still take that shit to Akron because it's like... And he'd be like, what, are you what is he talking about, the powers from the Ark? I'd be like, I don't know. It's just some crazy person saying some weird, weird shit. I don't get it. I don't know what the Ark is, but goddamn. Oh, so this is a flashback. Before your arrival in Tokyo and before the launch of the contest. So way back. Let's see. We're on the Ark. Is something gonna fucking happen? There we go. So, if I may reiterate, I've recently engaged in a bargain, and my claim in this is Dominion. Not only over Earth, but its people too, and the flow of time therein. I'm certain that you would like this power. In your line of work, it would be essential. Am I correct to assume that you agree? Who the fuck is it gonna be? What? 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 No! I can't be banging around because I live in apartments. So I have to be like, No! <laughs> this is bullshit! This is fucked up! This is not cool! This is all the way fucked up! This would explains a lot, really. But no! No! N n fuck you! Fuck both of you! Fuck you! Fuck your tits! Fuck your scarf! Fuck, <laughs> fuck your jacket slash corset! What the fuck? Yeah, but all of that is contained in this? It's such a fragile looking necklace. The gear! The gear! I noticed the gear like one of the first things I noticed. Well, it was like the third thing. One, two, and then the thing right above them <laughs> was the necklace. <laughs> Fragile. The gears of fate are anything, but they spin in spite of defiance. Like a drill moving forward in revolution. Time is not easily stopped. It is fickle and moves with vigor. 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 So what, I can control time? In a way, what has happened cannot be changed, but you can stop it and slow it down. Like a river, it can flow or be still. The gear gives you the power to do this. So let's say I believe you, 
which I am inclined to. I mean, just look where I'm standing. I imagine all of the people I could save, those that are struggling or in danger. But I sense you want something in return. You wouldn't just hand out this power. I'm glad you're as smart as they say. The truth is, I grow tired of this place. The Ark is fun for a time, but my ambitions have grown larger. I seek a worthy successor, someone to rule in my stead. However, there is more than just time. The power of the Ark runs deeper. So this gear is just a test, hmm? Indeed. The Ark governs life and death as well. This renders the Dweller immortal. Governs life and death? You mean you can bring back the dead? Yes. Or I can cause the living to die. Something I fear I'll be doing more of. But you said you couldn't reverse time. It's true, I can't. But time and life are separate entities. I'm not sure how to explain the difference. It's a concept hard to put into words, but it's easily understood in practice. If you become my successor, you'll see. You mean there's a chance I might not be? I don't... I didn't realize this was a gamble. I thought you were making me an offer. Of course this is a gamble, Max. You're not the only one who will be chosen. There will be a few contestants, along with, the, with a goal and an objective. I can't just give the Ark away. Not without finding a worthy owner. Oh, so this is the fucking Willy Wonka of the fucking space and time. Fucking bullshit. Duh. It is your goal to prove that... Oh, now I remember that Gene Wilder's dead. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when Johnny Depp finally dies? It's going to suck. Then we're going through a lot of this. It is your goal to prove that worth. And there will be others in your way. Dots. Very well then. What are your terms? Rhino lets out a sinister smirk. How do you let out a smirk? I don't understand a lot of this game. Is that why I'm not allowed to be in Winds of Change? It's because I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> I'm like bottom of the barrel when it comes to potential voice actors. For those of you who don't know, I did audition to be in the the new Clay's game, Winds of Change. But uh, I, I put, not only put in my audition way late in the month, it was like for the month of May they were uh, accepting submissions, but uh, pretty much everyone got their shit in immediately, and I was like, really late. <laughs> so I was like, damn it. And every time I ask about uh, whether or not I submitted my shit right, I don't get a response. No one gives a shit about me. My terms are simple. Pay very close attention. Chapter 5, A Brief Reprieve. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're in Chapter 5 now. I don't know how many fucking chapters there are, but I hope it's like... 5. <laughs> Present day! How are you holding up? Thirsty or hungry? Neither. Just feeling lonely. With me right beside you? I'm not sure if I should be offended. I thought I was pretty good company. Oh, I, I didn't mean it like that. Of course you're good company, Kaylin. I'm, it's just... I'm missing lots of people. That... and it's wet and dark. Wet is good. Humidity helps. You don't want to... you don't want to dry out in a cell. Trust me, it's an awful experience. I know you say you're not hungry, but I've been monitoring your eating. You'll starve if you don't eat have some more. Just ration this bread, Kaboo. Not a chance. That's yours. Not really. I can survive on little food. Your body isn't used to that, though. I can tell this situation is foreign to you. It seems to be the opposite for you. Spent a lot of time in prison, Kalen? More than I'd like to admit. But being in prison isn't all bad. Excuse me? <laughs> I always seem to find a way out. This time will be no different. We're alive, so that means one thing. 
they want us alive. If they didn't, we'd be dead by now. Only you could find that reassuring. I'm afraid I don't share that sentiment. A player would never keep someone alive, not unless they were important to him. So for now, we get free food and shelter. The side of torture, you mean? Your optimism is an inspiration. It's just who I am. Think of it like this. Every time they take me out for torture, I can mentally map at more of the estate. I'll have it dull down by no t in no time. Then we can plan our escape. I'm used to torture, trained to resist it. I'll make sure they always take me. I'm, I'll make sure they always take me. I don't know what that means. Besides, I'll, I have some letters to send out. And what better time to do it? I hope my friends are getting them. I know this place inside and out. I can definitely help you, but I can't just let you suffer in my stead. Of course you can. That's what buddy ears are for. Buddies? Yeah. I want to help you out, Kaboo. That's why I gave you my bread. That's why I'll make sure they don't hurt you. I don't think I can repay you for this. Well, you could tell me about yourself. We are buddies. I should get to know you. I suppose that is a fair exchange. What the fuck is happening right now? I get it. They're in prison, but, like, other than, like, just finding out more about them, who gives, who gives a shit? I don't... Will you tell me about yourself, too? I'm sorry, I don't really do that. The bread and care... What? <laughs> to suffice. Oh. But please, do tell me. I don't ask unless I genuinely care. Kellen lets out a soft smile. Well, it's just like I said at the rally. I don't remember much, but I'm not Terran. The first thing I remember is Lord Player. I'm sorry to hear that. That must not be a pleasant first memory. <laughs> well, in this case, you're wrong. I look back on that memory very fondly. Were it not for Player, I'd be dead. Back then, he was different. He treated me as if I were, were a na Terran native. Like I was his own flesh and blood. But everything changed, and so fast. Politics turned him into a different man. He was so much... He was much easier to coerce and influence. He only cared about his following. He lost sight of his true self. But I suppose it's collateral damage. Not many people stick to their views, especially when others don't share them. He started telling people what they wanted. No longer did he talk about what he wanted. It was all about pleasing the population. It could be addicting, having power. Having people cheer your presence. I can see how that changed him. I guess he gave in. That's when I started to feel neglected. He would rarely speak to me. That must be hard. Having a father figure treat you that way? Is that why you decided to speak up? No, that's a different matter entirely. A lot changed when Riley came on board. He was supposed to be Player's advisor. But it was more like he owned Lord Player. Suddenly, Riley was the one in charge. And he made him do horrible things. What do you mean? This isn't the only cell down here. There are others, filled with people. He's keeping undocumented immigrants. Riley convinced him to do this. The immigration stance was his idea. Player loved immigrants. He loved me. They were able to get a steady supply. Something about two men with connections. They came to some sort of arrangement. But they've kept everyone alive, so it's not like they wanted to kill them. It's more like they wanted to ostracize them. He thinks it will make Terra better. Make it great again. Uh, I... <laughs> Jesus. But, it, but that hurts me. It, that hurt, But that hurts me. It really does. I wouldn't want to be a part of this new Terra. I wouldn't be a part of this new Terra, I believe, is what it actually said. I heard him talking with Riley. If elected, they'll make more prisons, immigration camps, or something like that. A place to keep them while he works. 
He wants to sever Terra's connection, remove us from the galactic community. But that's far too dangerous, Kalen. We know what happened when Velasquez tried. This is not to be trifled with. I, I find all this hard to believe. So we're not really alone down here? Not at all. But getting back on topic, all of this is Riley's doing. He makes Player do these awful things. But it's still Player himself that does them. His hands have gotten so dirty, Kalen. While Riley's remains clean as ever. Clean as ever. Wait, you don't mean... Yes, he's setting Player up. He wants to remove Player from the picture. Then he'll be free to usurp the campaign. Okay, now I'm a little concerned. You say it's Riley behind all of this? Then why did you frame Player at the rally? Riley must believe that's why he... that. Riley must believe that he's winning. That way he can let down his guard. I got help from an assassin, Endymion. Together we created a fake manifest. That's what I submitted at the rally. And that's what started all of this. That must have thought... You must have thought I was stupid. Turning against Lord Player so easily. Especially with evidence forged in haste. It did seem a little odd. But now I understand why. So, what's the next step? Hopefully, Player can realize the truth. After this, he'll want to escape blame. Maybe he'll place the pieces together. Hopefully, in doing this, he'll realize. That's when the both of us came in. Assuming he learns of your guild heritage, he'll realize he can't escape the storm. At that point, he'll seek protection. And that's exactly what you can offer. He should come down here to talk, but and that's when we we can that and that's when we can barter, use your services to gain freedom. Dots. You thought all of this through. You thought all of this through. I did. Sorry if it's complicated, but if we protect Player, we can use him. His testimony will help expose Riley. Of course, they'll lose all validity. No one will vote for these two men. It'll secure the election for Velasquez. I misjudged you. I'm impressed. Most do, and that makes it easier. I could avoid suspicion and detection. Wow, you live like a mercenary. Except for the fact that he fucking says everything he's doing. Mercenaries don't do that. I have a feeling it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> You'd be a great addition, Kabu. Maybe the guild life would suit you. At least that's the way I think. Always be steps ahead of the enemy. Then you'll be able to counter them. It's one of the first things I learned. I guess I wasn't lucky enough to learn it. All of this just came to me by instinct. Sounds lucky to me. So what do we do? Just wait? It's all we can do, really. Wait for Player to come to his senses, or perhaps wait for him to get caught. Well, he has come to his senses. At least presumably. Wow, we screw everything up, don't we? Can't even take a nap without ruining stuff! How do you think the king will take this? You know, if Dad, his savior is missing, he's going to be furious, Andy! Quiet! Dots. It's not the time or the place for jokes. We have to figure out what happened. The savior must be somewhere nearby. There's too much on the there's too much on the line to leave this. We have to figure it out and fast. Sorry. But maybe he just left of his own will. I mean, we never had him in shackles. They always had the freedom to walk. But we explained things so well. It was certain that we had their allegiance. We can't, he, they can't have just walked away. Look around for clues. There's more here, I know it. Oh, we're detectives now. Did I sleep through that meeting? Conrad, enough! Dot. Sorry for yelling. Would you please help me look around? 
Look for elements of foul play. Then we can decide our next actions. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And I'll try to keep low on the jokes. I didn't realize this was a hot topic. Just a hard habit to kick. Especially when it's second nature, you know? I understand. Thanks. You start looking over there, and I'll get this half of the room. I appreciate it. They can't have gone b far, either. So, the faster we find a lead, the better. Spent a few moments uh, scouting the room. After a few moment, after a few moment pass, Endymion makes a discovery. Conrad. Yeah. Come here. I found something. What is it? It's blood. Wait, the Savior's blood? I don't know, but this tattered piece of clothing, I'd recognize it anywhere, Conrad. Lord Player was here. That's impossible! We're still on good terms with him! Endymion holds up the piece of fabric. The blood has long since dried. Well, who else would wear this? There's no other explanation. I've seen him wear this many times. That's purely conjecture. We should look around a little more. Uh. He knew all about Lord Player. There's no way he'd leave willingly. And there are no signs of a struggle. Fabric was torn and blood drawn? That doesn't happen without a fight. There'd be have to be something left behind. But everything is in pristine condition. Perhaps we're falling into a trap, being tricked into thinking this way. This could be what the assailant wants. We're just next we were just next door in Dimion. We would have heard if anything happened. Think about this logically, no assuming. I'm not assuming anything, Conrad. The evidence is right before me. There's no mistaking what I'm seeing. Lord Player must have adopted abducted abducted the savior. We must to make haste to his residence. Our guise has been broken. We can attack head-on. We would have heard an abduction, Endymion! Think about this, I'm begging you! They could have spiked our wine, Conrad. I know I slipped longer than usual. Now you're being paranoid. Conrad, just stop it! Dots. We had someone capable of saving Terra, and now they're missing, with evidence. This is a perfectly logical conclusion. I suppose at first glance... Exactly. And there's a chance I'm right. We have to act on that, no matter how small. If we don't, the savior could be killed. There's too much in the balance to debate. We need to take action before anything else. At least meet me halfway, Yandy. We can't afford to be so reckless. What do you have in mind? Just pay him a visit. We can gauge how he treats us. We'll be able to tell pretty quickly. If he does tries anything funny, then we act. But right now, it's not right to assume. We, can, we could be heading right into a trap, you know. If we attacked first, we'd blow our cover. Then everything would just fall apart. That could easily be someone's true goal. Dodds. Very well. Endymion places a hand on Conrad's shoulder. But if he's holding the savior, or if he gives he off the slightest suspicion, I will show him no mercy, I promise. Well, it's kind of weird knowing knowing what happened, seeing that. It's like, oh shit. It's kind of cool seeing Conrad get like the upper hand in terms of knowing what's going on. Oh shit, all these voices are happening all at once. Um, what was right? You see how this is important to me. Normally, I wouldn't go to such extremes. But Kalen's life is on the line here. Holy God! Holy... Jesus! Ja! Ja... Uh, hold... Sorry, um... Your eyes did have a soft spot for him. It's rare to see you in such dire straits. But yeah, I guess I understand. 
Jesus Christ! What do you want me to do about it? I'm one of your enemies, after all. Why would I help the competition? You wouldn't help the competition. You might help, but you might help a friend. Oh, we're friends now. When you need help, that's how it works. Samantha. Don't call me that. It's Sam. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but this time, I really need your help. You had your chance to recruit me, but you chose that pretty boy instead. And now you want me to help you save him? The irony is actually comedic. Are you only here to mock me? Well, I needed to check in on things. My boss needs all kinds of information. And who is your boss, exactly? Sorry, lips are sealed. And that's for the rat prize. <laughs> she does look like a hooker. Um, but you're asking me to sway my sway allegiance. Only coin could get me to do that, righty. And no small amount of them, either. But I might also use this chance to spy. So don't think I'm yours for good. I could turn my back and sell you out. I was fully expecting I was fully expecting to pay for this. As a mercenary, I know the power of money. Very well, tell me the full story. Oh god, more fucking explaining. I don't want any naughty su little surprises. I don't get along with those, righty. Well, Kalen is being held prisoner in Lord Player in Lord Player's Manor actually. Maybe you've heard of him. Of course I have, and you're crazy. The security on his estate is massive. That's why I've come to you. I'll require a bonus then. Fine, but it's just a rescue mission. Not much else is out of the ordinary. But if there's any other prisoners, I think we should extract them as well. Bonus. Also, I am open to any important facts. If you dig up dirt on player or the king. Bonus! <laughs> Dots. Also, you may be subject to more bonuses, especially if mission parameters change. Do you find this acceptable, Righty? Yes, but I'm coming with you. Like hell you are, I work alone. No, you work with me now. No, thanks. We tried that once before. You said I was too reckless, I think. Chose the pretty boy over me. This isn't an entrance exam, Sam. Lives are on the line, you know. I did not pay you back then. I set the mission parameters. You will charge me accordingly. Fine, but I doubt you can afford me. Especially not when you meet the, when you meet in the cellar. Headquarters under a tavern? That's rich. Actually, it's the other way around. The tavern was built over my HQ. These tunnels are deep, lots of secrets. Remember, Velasquez funded this place. The royal treasury is the royal treasury is nearly limitless. Trust me, I'm aware. Of course you fucking are. So what do you think? Can we work together, Sam? Sure. Let's talk numbers. Would you like to save a game? Well, I would if the option was there. Oh, okay. I guess that was just a weird glitch. I don't know what the fuck that was. But either way, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Major Minor. On the next one, we will see what all of this... Oh, we're seeing a whole bunch of different people. What is going on in this funky town? But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained on professional speaking for the voices in my head. And I say until next time, fare thee well. Bye, everyone! God damn, those... God... I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they, they just really know how to capture the human form. Oh, 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 yes, my Undertaker!